Hello everybody and welcome to The Legend of Dragoon. My name's Cody and in the last exciting episode we headed off to Rouge, which is the hometown of Hashel here, uh, who wonders if anyone remembers him because it has been, it's been a long time since he left his hometown. Uh, here's the mayor, he says, well it's been maybe 20 years? You've been gone for such a long time, how have you been? I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. So yeah, that's a little plot thread that's been going on throughout the game, is that hashel has been looking for his daughter, uh, and then discovered that Dart seems to be his grandson, and Dart's mother, who was Hashel's daughter, uh, died in a fire uh, a long time ago, uh, when the Black Monster, who's also in our party, killed Hashel's daughter, and it was very... I'm sure it's, it's a very awkward party situation all around right now. There are a lot of interweaving plot threads. But yeah, uh, everyone's sort of gotten over it in between discs. Uh, I guess they've just all sorted it, sorted it out between them. Um, which, I've mentioned it before, but it's both good and bad. Like, it's nice that there's not a whole bunch of, like, angst everywhere. Um, but it's also, like... Yeah, you know, because angst is, is a bit a bit common in uh, in these kinds of games. Uh, but it's also a bit sad that we didn't see a lot of the character development. Like the character development there seems to have happened off screen. These are all really good items, by the way. Uh, they're probably the best of their type. But I'm I'm happy with the the stuff that we've got. Uh, hey, you said you had an important thing to talk about, didn't you? Go directly to the mayor's place and don't wander around in the practice area. Alright, uh, well, let's head over here, which takes us to uh, the upstairs region. There's also like five other entrances to this, as you can see. Uh, like, you know, there's a few other ladders, there's, you know, it's a, uh, this is a place built uh, over the ocean, uh, as far as I can tell. So here's the mayor. Uh, Hashel, I think, is going to explain the situation. This village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep, fish and sleep, practice and sleep, and practice and sleep. That's about it. Nothing's changed since Hashel left the village, yeah. Well, it's that's good and bad, because, see, what happens to most villages where our main character comes from, and by most, I mean all of them, is that they burn down to the ground uh, and everyone's very sad, so, you know, you do a lot of fishing and being bored, but you have you haven't been burned to the ground, and that's very, very nice for everyone. Those were towns where the long gone Wingleys lived, do you know anything about it? So yeah, there's meant to be an ancient Wingley city somewhere near here, um, but obviously this, like, local villager has no idea what they're on about, uh, because... How could he possibly? But yeah, so there's a world crisis and we're in a hurry. So we're going to look for some old ruins around here. Things that humans couldn't make. Uh, and how about this? There's a stick rising out from the sea. Could it be related? Ah, a thing in the sea. Yes, humans couldn't have made it. It doesn't sound very... Look, you, you didn't... You didn't make it sound particularly amazing. A stick in the sea, but let's have a look. Probably there's going to be something, uh, something a, a bit more surprising than a stick if we go and look. Uh, I hope it's the one you folks want to go to. So yeah, that's where we can head. But first off, uh, let's walk around a little bit more. Uh, we got uh, these guys. Rouge is more like a family than a village. Everyone in the village is a member of the family. Don't you want to be a part of the Rouge family? I do. There's a fire in the stove. It makes us even hotter. Wow, that's... That's difficult, isn't it? Um, Alright, so if we head... So there's a few directions we can go. This takes us back down. Um, but we can also head out here. There's someone in particular I'm looking for. Uh, and I don't remember exactly where she is, but this is the hometown of... Oh, whoa, that's an unusual... 
that's an unusual item to get in an item box. Uh, it so it makes your additions automatic, but you do half damage and get half the X, half the SP from it. So that's good if you're bad at the game, essentially. If like Albert's combos are way too much for you to deal with, for example, uh, you can just do that and it will like train up his additions. So I I never use them because I always get good enough at the additions that I just do that I just do what I want, uh, and and I've never had the need for it. But here we are. So over here is Martel, who we've been. Uh, talking to for a lot of the game. Hold on. There's actually... So if you're wondering what I'm doing, there's a Stardust around here. The last Stardust in the game. There's 50 all up. We could have had 49 by now, uh, but we do not in fact have 49 for various reasons such as I forgot to collect them. And that's the only reason, really. So you folks, have you come all the way here for sightseeing? Then there's nothing you can see here. The girl, is she sick? Yes, she won't be long, Doc says. Hmm. My daughter took ill a year ago and since then has been sleeping in pain. So this is why... Oh, sorry, did I... Yeah, there we go. Um... So the reason that she's been looking for Stardust has been to cure this girl. So we want to get... If you collect them all, if you collect all 50, uh, your dreams will come true. So she doesn't have enough yet, but yeah, we we just haven't had uh, haven't had the chance yet. But we do have enough. We gave her 23 Stardust because it's been a long time since uh, we updated her with the Stardust. And so what we get here, should we should get two items um, because we get one for every 10 Stardust. We get an amulet, and we get the War God Sash. The War God Sash oh, might be cured, huh? feel refreshed. I feel refreshed like before I got sick. Wow. Isn't that a happy ending? Uh, let's leave them alone. So, we'll leave them alone but also, uh, also I'm going to show you the stuff that we got that we got for giving her 23 new Stardust um, because some of it I wish I had actually gone to her earlier uh, because Amulet doubles maximum MP if you use Meru for example or or Miranda, it's very good for Miranda because Miranda's not good for anything but MP uh, and you want them to last in a long boss fight, this is very nice War God Sash raises SP by 50%. If you are training someone up to be a level 5 Dragoon, uh, give them give them that, because uh, we've got Dard and Rose are level 5, Hashel's level 4, Albert's level 4, Mary's level 4, Kongo's level 3, but he only has 4 Dragoon levels, I think. Um, and Miranda's level 5, so I've got a few people I could train on that. Um, it's just very useful. You combine it with the the SP uh, the SP gaining addition that you get, and you'll be you'll be all set. So let's go back in now. Let's talk to Lil. Look, look, I'm so much better. Yes, you are. So we can talk to Martel. But if you find more star Stardust, won't you give it to me? So yeah, we've collected enough to uh, save her, but we can still collect more. Um, Alright, just a second. 
I just need to look up where this last Stardust is. Alright, I think it's out here actually. Uh, so if we go past Martel to this uh, place which has 100G, and then we look over to the right, there is a stone in amongst the herbs, a Stardust, which are very close to home, but I guess our Martel just didn't notice it. They do seem to be all over the place in pots and things, so I'm not surprised she hasn't found them. There are a lot of villages in the Broken Islands, but Rouge is the biggest. So, yeah, they've got this whole set of, uh, whole set of islands that have their own culture, and uh, it's always nice to see that, that little stuff uh, added in. So, uh, <laughs> I was like, what's, what's going on here? But no, I just, uh, I got my perspective slightly wrong. Are you sure? So yeah, that's just what happens if we get, give her another Stardust. We'll only get one, one for every ten we get, so two more Stardust, and we get another item. Ten more Stardust after that, we get all fifty, we get, I think we get another item, as well as the ability to fight uh, Faust, an optional boss. Um, who's really, really strong and has some really good rewards. So I'm going to leave it there for now. <sighs> and I'll see you next time. Cody out. Hey everybody, just wanted to give a bit of an extra tip for those of you uh, wanting to get a bit of grinding in. These rainbow birds are about 60% of the encounter rate in this ocean. Uh, and if you want to, what you can do is use a magic signet stone uh, on it as soon as you can, which means it can't escape for the next three turns, and then just wail on it for ages uh, while it's stuck here. Uh, and since it's immune to all physical and magical damage, the only things that can hurt it are sachets and confusing it so that it hits itself. Uh, you can basically just do this. You can just do this for ages, and then as soon as it runs away, like it can't move for a few turns. But when it can move, uh, it might run away, it might attack. If it runs away, you just get another one. This is this is a very nice place to train uh, your additions. If you haven't gotten your final additions for everyone yet. Uh, give it a practice on the invincible bird. Alright, see you guys next episode.